to question 14. How do we convert PPM to So PPM is also known as parts per million. Okay, so since we know PPM is in parts per million, that is similar to it having a concentration of milligrams per liter. So if PPM is in milligrams per liter, then we also need to understand that molarity we want in moles per liter. So to answer this question, we would also need to convert milligrams to moles somehow so therefore we need the molar mass of like your solute to answer the question as well. So it's not just like a simple conversion. Uh, we're also going to need the molar mass of that substance. So let's say we started off with one milligram per liter. Uh, first, let's convert it to grams. So to do this, we will multiply by the conversion factor of grams to milligrams. So there are 1,000 milligrams in one gram. Okay, so this will cancel out our milligrams. And we also need to convert our grams to moles. So I'm going to multiply this again by the reciprocal of molar mass. So the reason why it's 1 over molar mass is because the units for molar mass is grams per mole. So if we put this in the denominator, we can cancel out our grams and bring our moles up as the numerator. And then that is how we get our units to be moles per liter. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. Definition of PPM, parts per million, is one milligram of solute per one kilogram of solution. For an aqueous solution where the solvent is water, this can also be expressed as one milligram of solute divided by one liter of water. Molarity, on the other hand, is the number of moles of solute to the number of liters of solution. Hence, to convert PPM to molarity, we must know the molar mass of the solute so we can get the number of moles from the given mass using the equation N equals M over M. So, Yep, so that's correct. I'm also just going to write down what I wrote as well. Okay, so I'm just going to show.
Okay, so this solution is still correct.